On March 10, 2008, the builders of the EV2 electric Jeep were overcome. No, not by aliens, not by toxic fumes, but by the sheer joy of having an opportunity to meet the Sunstang team at the University of Western Ontario. The Sunstang team was kind enough to disassemble its solar electric racer and show us its inner workings. So that's one battery. Now, I wonder how we can compare what that will do to one battery. Of course, 225 amp hours. Is that something we can convert to this whole? Yeah, we have. What amp hours are these? These are 9. The EV2 team was also extremely interested in the lithium-ion batteries that the SunStan uses. Yeah. And so it's a 120 volt system, and they weigh 70 pounds each, so that's 1,400 pounds of battery. We're hoping to reduce that. If we go lithium-ion, if we took 1,000 pounds off, we're down to, say, 400. Mm -hmm. So we just wondered, what would we need of this to sort of give us something comparable? Being true to his dragster heritage, postulates on his idea of using capacitors to rocket an electric vehicle down a drag strip. Capacitors. <laughs> so that you had 120 volts in series parallel, whatever it took to get it right, 120 volts, and then had it hooked up through a series of relays that would fire, say, eight at a time, six at a time, whatever it needed for the amount of punch it required, that you could conceivably fire that race car down the quarter mile in around eight seconds, firing off those capacitors at maximum mm -hmm. dump all at once. You wouldn't have a controller to control voltage output because you're going to want maximum. We were also joined by Emma Farlow and Craig and Connie Cook of Wind Chasers. Just like fix it and tweak it? Yeah, tweak it for the power of the this, yeah, we're basically just ripping this, uh, the, the body apart. And, uh, so are you going to use other materials? Like yeah, more uh, more composites, hopefully. Yeah. Not so much of the foam stuff. Now, have you... Um, <coughs> I mean, what's the difference? You can suck the gas from the parking lot. It's not like any verse of a drive. Are you videotaping this? Every, Every word. Basically just ripping the body apart. So are you going to use other materials? So yeah, more uh, more composites, hopefully, yeah. not so much of the foam stuff. Yeah, well, your sponsors yeah, have you, um, here. Yeah, um, yeah I guess they decided. Have they that given you a budget for, for, for uh, we got to fundraise for whatever, whatever we can fundraise to see what we're about. Yeah. Uh, like maybe a coffee oh, or, yeah. or something, <laughs> or a beer or coffee. <laughs> but, uh, well, that's, uh, yeah. well, what a project. Right? We then arranged for Jimmy, whom we were led to believe is one of their better drivers, to road test the EV2 electric G. I'm getting back here. Look at it. I drove electric vehicle today. I can be a license. The Sunstand team took us to the engineering building at the University of Western Ontario to show us the controller 
that they had built. Oh, to see it's where really, you got wind here. It's motor power here. Well, well, uh, well, the wind is a major That's a just tiny, uh, tiny DC DC. We need to do more CFD so, analysis before we can. And also the so signal you have to coming CFD from models, Canada so is also isolated. So, Craig, Emma, and myself, as well as Craig and Connie Cook, would like to thank Pranay, Dan, and the whole Sunstand team for their hospitality. We'd like to thank Joe for arranging the meeting. We'd like to thank Jimmy for the additional information on lithium ion batteries. And an additional thank you to Jimmy for being such an excellent driver. The Sunstang Solar Car team from the University of Western Ontario is here. The team is here! <laughs> if you want it to be. <laughs> if you are interested in learning more about the Sunstang team and their project, you can go to sunstang.ca or use the link attached to this video.